One of the most common steps you'll encounter when programming within NX is making face selections. Fortunately, NX has some tools built in to make this um, quick and efficient for you. I'm Patrick Smith from Applied CAX and Sherpa Design, and today we're going to go over some of those tools to help with your selections. You can see here I have this mold pulled up in NX. This is something we actually made in our shop about a year ago. And it's somewhat complex. You can see in this main cavity here, there's, um, there's a lot of faces. So what you don't want to do is go through and have to pick each face individually. Let me go into my operation here and into the cut area dialog. Let me snap to view. There we go. Okay, so NX has a multi-select feature. Okay, the first one I want to show you is the multi-select rule. Uh, first, let me open an operation and go into the specify cut area dialog. So I can drag my cursor and make a box. And then NX will select faces um, based off of this multi-select rule dropdown. So it usually defaults to inside, which means it's going to select every face that fully resides within the box you draw. So let me demonstrate that. Draw a box. You can see it's selecting every face that is fully within the box. If a face is only partly in the box, it gets uh, left out of this selection. You also have outside, which means it's going to choose every face that is fully outside of the box you draw. And then you also have these inside and outside crossing. So inside crossing means it's going to select every face that is fully within your box or also um, both in and outside of your box. So you can see with inside crossing it's selecting every face within or crossing into the box. You also have the same option with outside crossing which will select every face outside or outside and then crossing into the box and it's going to omit faces that are fully within the box. You also have the option to choose a circle instead of a rectangle. So you put your cursor where you want the center of your circle to be and then drag it out to the diameter you want. You can also choose lasso, which will let you draw a freeform shape. Okay, so that's the uh, multi-select. Another really um, useful selection tool is the face rule drop-down menu. It defaults to single face, which means it will just select a single face, obviously. And hopefully you know you can hold down shift to unselect something. So I'm holding down shift now, and you can see the faces get unselected. 
A common one I use is the tangent faces, which means it's going to select every face that's tangent to the face you select. So the downside to that is you can't um, unselect a single face. It's going to select the faces as a group and then it's going to deselect the faces as a group. So I selected this star with the tangent faces rule. So if I hold down shift and try to unselect this floor face here, it's going to deselect all of them. It selected it as a group and it's going to deselect it as a group. There's a couple ways around that. You can select the faces that you want to deselect later first. For instance, if I want to select this star minus this floor, I could use single face to select the floor first, then switch it to tangent faces to select the rest of them. Now I can hold down shift and deselect the floor because it was selected separately from the other faces. Another way you can accomplish that is I have this set to tangent faces. I'm going to select this whole pocket. And you can go here to your list, right click, and hit remove selection intent. And that's just going to re. It's going to tell NX to forget that all these faces were selected as a group. So now I can hold down Shift and unselect any faces that I need. Just uh, one more quick tip: um, you don't have to use this drop-down menu at the top. If you select a face you have this little menu that pops up and you can select all of the same um, selection rules here which um, sometimes it's a little easier than having to go up here and then each time you make a selection you can choose a new selection rule so there you go I hope that helps thanks for watching